hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm Ryan. And I'm Joe. I nearly stood on the dogs. Nearly stood on the dogs. Nearly killed Daphne. Um, if you've not subscribed, then make sure you subscribe, like the video. Um, we have just got back from walking the dogs, which if you saw our last vlog, you'd have seen we took them on a little walk around the new forest. Um, but now we're back. So the plan for this evening is I've got a vlog to edit. So that needs to be done. And Joe, well, he's building some Lego. It is time. It is time. So this is what he plans to build this evening. Yeah. This is it. It's the Just Hogwarts the icons collector of the Dershun. Yeah, I think we know what that is. Just it's, like a what it what actually is it? Is it an invite to Hogwarts? Some potions, some gillyweed. Polyjuice, glasses, um, the liquid luck, Felix Felice, frog. <clears throat> There's loads of different things. Not a chocolate, not a chocolate frog. A wand, a book. Yeah. The snitch. And. Hedwig. Hedwig. Yes. How big is this? It's uh, okay. I'm gonna let you off. It is 18 plus, so it's you know it's not like it's not for yes. children. Okay. Three thousand and ten pieces, which I think is less than my hotel that I built last time. Yeah, look at that, crazy. Yes, yeah, so plan is Joe is going to do that. I am going to edit some vlogs, and then we're going to cook tea. Which for tea, we're going to do one of our favourite dishes that we had at Epcot's Food and Flavors Wine Festival. Fire, yeah, so the flavours of flour. Plate, la, 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 la. Flavors of fire. fire booth, um, which is gone now. No, it's back. It's back for twenty twenty two. Yeah, is it in the same place. It's in a different place, I okay. believe, because they have announced the booths for food and wine twenty twenty two. I will put a link in the description in case you just want to know, because I have been researching that. But they do a shredded corned beef with like a creamy cheese fondue sauce, spear fondue sauce sort of thing. With cheese curds. With cheese curds and that. Now, in America, corned beef is completely different to corned beef here. So you can't really, you can, it's like a brisket, but it's, yeah. So we've kind of made our take on it, but we absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I have got some footage of when we were last at Food and Wine, um, and we had this dish so I'll insert that footage now so you can kind of see what the dish is that we're talking about. And we can compare ours. <laughs> so I got the corned beef again because it is so good but there is Chunk of cheese. so much that proper cheese curd. There's a lot. So yeah so that was that was what it is and then yeah you can compare to what we do. It isn't exactly the same it's close enough but it's not Exactly it still the same. Nice though, doesn't it? It, I love it. I absolutely love it. Joe's there, by the way. I absolutely love it. Brian's mum absolutely loves it as well. My mum loves it, and that's saying something because my mum is basically a ham, egg, and chips kind of girl. Sausage, chips, and beans. Basic, basic, yeah. basic. So yeah, that's the plan. So I'm going to show you what I do, so in case you want to do it. And in the description, I'll put the kind of the ingredients that I use so that you can try it at home. And if you do try it at home, then put in the comments what you thought of it. Did you like it? Who knows? But I'm gonna pass over to Joe because he is going to build some Lego. Okay, so Joe is sat down in his little station. Got my uh, handy knife to hand. Ryan's sat in front of me, he's currently editing some vlogs. And this, is this evening's project so yeah like Ryan said 3,010 pieces I'm gonna crack on with it how many bags do you reckon are in it Ryan? you're really dark can't barely see you Hidden. but how many bags? 15 15 bags is that a good guess? I don't know is that like a um, guess? I'm gonna go with I'm going to go with 18 bags. 18, bags. 18, you're saying 15. So let's open it up, do a bag count, and we'll see what we got. Opened it up. 
Oh, there's a lot. Well, that bag there is number 16, so could even be more. Oh my God, it's heavy. Hang about. There's a lot of bags. And there's another box inside. Right. Okay, so we've got another box. So we've got a box of box. We've got a box in a box. And we've got quite a lot of bags. Okay, so everything is out on the table. And I'm, I can say we were both wrong. Because there's 22 bags. Not 15, not 18, 22 bags. This is the last bag. And as you can see, 22. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. The instruction manual, pretty beefy. There you go. It's probably gonna take me a good couple of hours to do this. I'm probably not gonna finish it this evening. No, Draco? No. No. It's easy gonna take me about two or three nights, so let's give it a go. <laughs> Okay, so I finished bags one to three. Um, as you just seen in the, like the time lapse video, it's coming. It's nearly there. It's not nearly there. I've still got loads left to do, um, but yeah. Um, don't really know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of frame structure for the actual like. Oh, it's not even the owl. It's not even the owl. It's literally the books. Sorry, I'm just like looking through the pack, um, the uh, manual. It's not even the books. Uh, the owl. Yeah, what I'm building is not even the owl yet. This is literally just the framework for piles of books to build built up on, and then the owl then sits on top. So imagine it's gonna be. It's gonna be quite high, I think. So, cooking time. Cooking time with Ryan. Um, so the dish that I'm doing, like I said earlier, is a take on the shredded corned beef dish from Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. The flavors of Flyer. Flyer, I can't, why can't I say it? Flavors of Fire beef. Um, so we've had we had this last back in 2019 i think it was i think it was 2019 um and we had it we pretty much every time we've gone to epcot festival of the arts festival of the arts every time we've gone to epcot food and wine we have this dish it's like one of our favorites um but i'm doing a spin on it this is ryan's spin because Shredded corned beef. Corned beef here is completely different to corned beef back in America. Um, it's more of like a kind of a beef brisket style. Um, whereas in my recipe, I use shredded ham hock from Tesco. Um, and it gives that kind of shredded texture and it tastes great. So I'll put all the ingredients and the kind of the steps I do, I do in the description, but follow along and uh, we're gonna make this dish. So the first thing you need to do is heat the oven because although this shredded ham hock is cooked, you can you know eat it straight away. Um, I like to heat it up and give it a little bit more of a crispiness to it. So I'm gonna pop that in a dish, any type of dish, glass dish, anything that you can kind of put in the oven that's heat proof basically um, and then what you will find is the top of the, the ham hock would just go a little bit darker a little bit more bacony fied um, so that's what we do next 
I've got a couple of forks just because I want to shred the ham hock. Just so where these big chunky bits are, it's broken up a little bit. Yummy yum. Now, if you're vegan or anything like that, then you might want to switch off because this could be triggering. And I don't want to trigger you. But Joe and I are not vegan or vegetarian. We do like to eat we meat. We like meat! We like meat! So, this is triggering. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Joe likes his meat that much. Right, so I think that's done. Don't need to go in the oven for too long. I'd say five to 10 minutes max, just until you start to see that kind of crispiness on the top and it goes a little bit like a more darker red, darker pink color. And then you can take it out again. So while that's in the oven, the next bit you need to do, and you need are baby bells. So you can get the different versions of baby bells. We just go with the normal red baby bells. <laughs> Um, we usually go, I usually go, with about three baby bells each, so six in total. Now, the reason we use baby bells is because in the actual dish that they do at Epcot, they use cheese curds. Now, for love or money, I cannot find cheese curds in the UK. I'm sure they do them somewhere, um, but I can't go and buy them at Tesco, basically. So, baby bells, cut up. It's kind of a substitute, you know, my little spin on cheese curds, baby bells. So I'm just gonna take these out of the wrapper and I'm gonna cut them up. That's all the baby bells cut up. Time to check on the ham hock. So see how that's kind of getting on. So the ham hock is done. The baby bells are cut. It's now time to make the sauce. Now to make the sauce, you need double cream. You can use normal cream, but I find double cream just makes it that little bit thicker. Use Newcastle Brown L, but any kind of medium or dark L will um will do the trick. I prefer a brown L. Um, but yeah, we won't use all of this. Not even half, to be fair. But that's what you need. Some mature cheddar, grated. Preferably this, the pre-grated stuff, because the pre-grated stuff has some like kind of corn starch, corn flour on it, and that helps thicken the sauce and then if you want to add a little bit more cheesy flavor you can add some parmesan to the sauce so I'm gonna start making the sauce and then there's not much more to do the sauce first thing Newcastle right now better in the sauce so I'm gonna use about so yeah, you can see, you don't actually use that much. Maybe a little bit. That's about it. That's all you kind of use. So it's filled up about there. So just under a third. And then once that's in, you want to kind of bring that to a, a little boil. I don't measure out what I put in. I just put in a cup of handfuls and kind of, you know, taste it and, and see. But I'd say two or three handfuls should be enough. So I'm gonna sprinkle in the cheese. Don't put it all in just yet. Put in your first kind of handful of cheese and then stir it because you want the cheese to melt. At the same time, 
You don't want it to burn. Joe's just staring at me. I don't have any more baby oil. It's rare for Joe to see me cook because he's usually hiding away while I'm in the kitchen. Now, now, he's, just, like, now he's just staring at me. Lie down comfortably <laughs> and just watch you cook. Watch what you've got to clean up after. Oh yeah, because that's the deal. That's the deal. I cook, Joe cleans. Okay. Every now and then Joe cooks. Very rare, but every now and then. And when I do cook, you hate my food. It's not that I hate it. It's you just don't like it. No, I do like it. I, I wish you would cook more. You wish I'd cook more like it. We actually are using HelloFresh at the moment. Um, don't know if any of you have ever used HelloFresh. Let us know in the comments. What did you think of it? I quite like it. I quite like the knowing what you've got meal-wise for the week. I like having the exact degree ingredients that you need. I also like the fact that it's step-by-step -step instructions so that Joe could follow those and, and cook himself. That would be quite nice. So that first lot of cheese is now melted. So I'm going to go in again. More cheese. So I'm going to add in some garlic. Now I'm using garlic puree. You can use garlic granules. You could use crushed garlic, whatever you kind of have. If you don't like garlic, you don't need to add it. But if you're like me and Joe, I love garlic. we love, love the garlic. One of the other things you need is chives. Now, the whole point of using chives is so that you sprinkle them on top. It's not to go in the sauce or anything like that. It is literally just to sprinkle them on top. So. You don't necessarily need loads. I'm going to chop those up. So now that the sauce is pretty much done, you start to dish up. So the version in Epcot use crisps, potato chips, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then on top of that is the technically the shredded ham hock, covered with the sauce and the chives and the cheese curds, baby bell, on top. So from a crisp point of view. Trusted walkers, ready salted, we found are the best kind of type of crisp for this. We've used different kind of ready salted crisps. We tried the kind of, um, what are the posh crisps called, Joe? Tyrrells. Yeah, like Tyrrells. But they, the, it's the texture. They're a little bit too thick and crispy. So your sauce is heated back up. All nice and warm. And turn that off, take that off the heat. And now comes the fun part. So this is kind of what your sauce should look like. Not too thick. You kind of want it almost soup-like. It's time to pour that all over your ham hock, your crisps, your baby bell. Cover it all over. And then once your sauce is on, grab your chives and basically sprinkle your chives on the top. And then voila, there you have it. So, this is it, right here. This is it, voila. This is my take on food and wine festivals shredded corned beef from is it from? from flavors, flavors of fire from flavors of fire from flavors of fire i can't get it right flavors of fire but there you go so give it a go if you think you might like it try it let me know if you do try it let us know in the comments be interested to know whether you try it and what you think of it you might think it's disgusting <laughs> Have you ever tried the, the dish at Flavours of Fire? Let us know. Um, but for now, we're going to tuck in and, and eat this. So hopefully you found this useful or you've just skipped through it and looked great to the end. But 
I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat. So yeah, that was food. It was tasty. Tasty. I have just had a shower. You have had a shower. I've watched Love Island. Oh, here's Daph. Oh, and the little one. And they want their bedtime biscuit. You want your bedtime biscuit? Yeah. So they do have a little bedtime biscuit. Okay. Just to settle them off. I think it's actually got... Chamomile. Chamomile, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right Honey, yogurt, chamomile and passion flowers. So that's it there. That's what they get. They're quite tasty, they look. Lily's Kitchen Bedtime Biscuits. They're about £2.50 or £2.99 a pack. And they get and that's these. The rise and shine, that's they? their morning biscuits. Uh, yeah, they look. Little biscuits. They look like that. Bless um, you. Yeah, thank you. Right. Go on then. Are you doing this on the sofa? Oh, go on then. Okay, they usually go on their beds for this, yeah. but. Alright, gentle. Nom 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 nom. Lost a finger. Lost the finger. Yeah, so that's their bedtime biscuit done. That's that done. Um You did a bit of Lego? Yeah, I done some Lego earlier. So more to do. There is still more to do, I'm nowhere near it. Well, we've, did three bags. We've still got a few more days left. We have. Yay. So it's only Tuesday today. Yeah. So we've got two full days left. Wednesday, Thursday. And the weather's got to be lovely. Yeah, I'm a little bit burnt today. Yeah, you have caught yourself today. Bit bad. But hey. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. And again, if you've not subscribed yet, then please do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to like. Like. And feel free to comment. Yeah, let us know. Did you try, are you going to try that dish? Yeah. If you do, let us know how you get on. Do you like it? Do you not like it? And let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Lego Harry Potter set if you've got the one that I'm building. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. So, yeah. But until next time, that's pretty much it. It's adios from me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.